Hello. Good morning. Welcome to Powerful Life. Um, body and soul, and we are here for day 92 of our 100-day challenge. Um, Vincent wants to book, join us today. Um, he's been meowing through the house, as usual. Um, trying to get everyone's attention to get them to wake up and work out. No, she, I don't, yeah, he definitely doesn't work out. We can tell that. Um, so for today, you need a mat. That's all you need. That's all you need. We're doing all body weight today. We don't need any other equipment but our mat. Um, we're going to be doing plank. You're going to be opening each side. So you're going to be in plank. It's the first one. You're going to be doing comp burpees down to your belly. Push up. Then we're going to be doing right side plank, left side plank, where we lift up. So we work on those sides. And then we're doing some leg drops. So a lot of abs today. Me abs. Okay. Um, I did legs yesterday and my legs are on fire still, um, which I love, um, but then hurt at the same time. So, um, all right, guys, let's get it started because I like to get to it. Get a drink of water. You need a drink of water. All right, we're ready. I'm pushing the timer. We're doing plank openers. Plank openers. There it is. All right, ready? Come on, we have 70 minutes. 70 minutes, 70 seconds on each side. You're like, minutes? Oh my gosh, we're not going to be able to we'll be able to get this done today. We did 70 minutes the whole time. Holy moly, guacamole. moly. Come on, guys. You got it. Tighten that core. Tighten that core when you're doing this. Tighten it. Uh, keep going. Uh, lift open. Oh, I can feel it. At least Vincent went to film that. He's right in front of me. And he just sees the ears. <laughs> How funny. Oh, come on. You got this. Keep going. You can do it. Fill the shoulders and your abs. Holy shoulders. We're gonna feel it today. Keep going. All right. So now, count burpees. Count burpees down your belly. Push up and jump. All right. Let's come this way just a little bit. So you're not in cattail land. All right, ready? Down, belly. Up, jump. That's one. Ready? Keep going. Do it. Burpees, I know, are sometimes our nemesis. We don't want to do it, but they're so good for us. So good, guys. Do it. Keep going. Roots up. Just remember. After you do this one, you only have to do it two more times. <laughs> That's how I have to think about it. You have 20 seconds. Keep going. Don't stop. Do it. You did it! Okay. <sighs> okay. So now, you're on this side. Okay, legs kind of tight together. Right? You can put one leg over, one leg up, and then you're going to be lifting up like this. <sighs> this is going to kick our butt for this long. <laughs> you need to put one arm down to help you. I have to do that sometimes. You need to drop it down. Stretch that arm. Bring it back up. But you're lifting up and down. These are so hard. These look like nemesis. They burn. 
Do you feel it right there? I feel it, guys. Up, down. Come on. I need help. Use that arm to help you. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to cramp right there. I don't know about you, but I am. Keep going. Oh my gosh. Goodness. Now the other side. You can do it. Come on. Okay. Other side. Get yeah, up. Go. Go. Do it. Sometimes I feel like my left is better than my right. Whew. Keep going. You can do it. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull and roll it. I'm gonna switch sides this way. Probably my ankle a little bit. Come on. You can do it. Up, down. Up, down. Go. I feel it. I'm starting to sweat. Come on, Molly. Keep going. Switching over again. This feels a little bit better with one, this leg over. I feel like I've got a balance. Okay. Keep going, guys. I feel it. Oh, holy burn. Okay. Phew. All right. So now we're going to do leg drops. So, you put your hands under your hair. Legs up. Drop them down. Go up. There you go. Breathe. Keep your chin up. Do it. Lift. Don't stop. You got this, guys. You can do it. Left. Got this. I need you. Put your hands here. That's a little harder. But you're holding your neck if your neck is bothering you. Don't drop them. Don't drop. Holy moly. Okay. So now, back to our plank opens. We're on round two already, guys. We got this. You can do it. Alright, so going to talk to you guys a little bit about um, Therapy Thursdays. We've been talking about self-regulation, which is the second part or one of the aspects, second aspect of emotional intelligence. Okay, so self-regulation has a lot to do with having control over yourself, right? So if someone upsets you or something doesn't go your way, that's where you are able to control your anger, your thoughts, your feelings, and express them in a way that gets your needs met while helping the needs of others around you, right? So, huge. So, it's kind of like, I know my mom would always tell me when I was a kid, um, you know, when my friends or kids that were, you know, being mean or not being nice, when they would, you know, bother me, my mom would always be like, why are you letting them get to you? They would say something that wasn't true, right? Okay, burpees, keep going. So they would say something that wasn't true, and I would still be upset about it. I'd be like, but it's not true. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like that they're saying that. And my mom would just say, hey, they're trying to get you upset. They know it's not true, but they're trying to upset you 
because they're hurting inside, right? Like a bully. And if I get upset and let it bother me, then I let them win. And I don't like losing. <laughs> I'm competitive. And so I was like, yeah, you're right. I don't want to let them win. So that's the thing, guys. Like, if someone's trying to upset you or someone's hurting and they just want to hurt you or someone else, don't let them win. Don't let them take control over your emotions. You have control over your emotions. So it's all about how you think about it in your head, how much control you have. So that's where you got to dig deep and really try hard. Okay, other side lifting to take deep breaths. Um, use your coping skills, positive ones, to help you in those situations where you're frustrated, things are bothering you, you need help. Um, that's where, whew, stretch it. Oh, that shoulder hurts. Um, so, it's all about how you think about it. If you think this is terrible, this is the worst thing, I'm so angry, I'm so upset, I want to throw things, I want to yell, I want to scream. Well, you've not been able to self-regulate your emotions. Um, if you're able to strive with it and work around it and learn from it and, you know, make great great inspirations and um, leadership with your dealing with conflict and resolution, then you've mastered self-regulation. So that's where you gotta dig deep to find out what works best for you. Um, so whenever those triggers come up, whenever things happen that are, that bother you, that bring up old wounds or that are things that are hard for you. Um, that's where my suggestion to you is to figure out why, deal with it, and figure out a plan on a way to, to deal with it later that's going to be positive and help you, not hurt you. Because a lot of times when we lose our self-regulation, actually most of the time, the most per the person we hurt the most is ourselves anyways. Um, so, why do you want to hurt yourself? It doesn't make any sense, right? Who stretch? It doesn't make any sense to want to hurt yourself, you know? And when you're hurting, then other people's hurt because they don't want to see you hurting. So... That's where you gotta self-regulate. Self-regulation. Um, it's all really about your coping skills. How you're gonna deal with the situation. How you gonna think about it. All right, ready? Leg drop. It's how you think about it. Because every situation, remember, 90% your feelings, 10% the situation, okay? So even right now, you know, the way that I'm perceiving this workout, the way I'm thinking about it, can be totally different than the way you're thinking about it. Uh, I am thinking, oh my gosh, this is hard, <laughs> uh, but we're going to get through it. We're going to feel great, and it's going to be worth it, right? You could be thinking, this is terrible. This is the worst workout ever. I don't want to do this workout again. Or I don't even want to finish this workout. So if you do that, then of course, that's how it's going to be for you. Right? Um, you can really enjoy any situation. Ugh, but it's all about how you think about it. And if it's something you really don't like, you're just like, right, it's something I'm just not interested in. Right? Uh, let's say, you know, I like these type of workouts are like this workout or, you know, I definitely, I work out with people like this, 
um, and I don't know. And uh, there are certain ones that I like more than others, right? So ones that just I feel like are more me, and that's okay. Uh, but I'm open and I'm finding ones that are out there for me. I'm not just dogging ones that all of them, you know. Um, because I know in my mind that working out, um, is really good for my mind, my body, and my soul. So, that's why I feel it's important, right? But that's my way of thinking about it. And I feel it. I feel it. I live it. And it makes me happy. So that's where you got to find out what makes you happy. When I try on my clothes and they fit, that makes me happy. <laughs> um, I feel good in my skin. Makes me happy. All right, guys, burpees. Last time. Last time I have to do burpees. Are you super excited? Because I am. So that's why self awareness is so important. Um, before self regulation, because you got to know what affects you and what is truly who you are, you know, to help you be able to judge your self regulation and be able to um, control yourself. If you don't know yourself, how are you going to control yourself? Right? How are you going to? You're the only person that has control over you. No one else does. Only you. So, you gotta use it. Keep going. 10 seconds. Finish strong. Last time I have to do burpees. Thank goodness. Yay, okay. I'm gonna go drink of water. Because I haven't gotten any. Mmm. Now we're doing our side left again. Oh, these are so crazy. What's crazy is you're gonna hurt probably from this today, most likely. I do these over and over. I'm like in pain. It's like a love hate. Whew, that hurts so good. Especially for 70 minutes, just joking, 70 seconds. Um of doing this, this is really good for us. So see how I saw that? So saying, hey, this is terrible. It's really good for us. It's gonna make changes in our body. It's gonna make us feel better. It's gonna work muscles, burn calories. Whew. See, I saw that looking on that side. Instead of thinking, this is horrible. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating so much. This hurts. I just think of all the benefits I'm going to get after this. That's how I get through. Hmm. All right. Oh, you guys are almost done. We only have two more exercises. Only two. Only two more. You can do it. Bring it up and down. Tighten that core. You can do it. You need to put that hand down. Put it down just to kind of guide you. So you don't fall. This side just does not like the side of my foot for some reason. Like, hurts. Keep going, guys. This is really hard to stay up. Uh, switch it. Okay. Just switch my feet. Okay. Keep going. So, because it hurts my foot on this side, I'm not gonna stop. I'm just gonna reposition and try to make it where I don't hurt anymore. Right? Whew. Holy 
my shoulder. Oh, leg drops. Last one, guys. Oh, you got this. You can do it. I'm almost out of the, out of the picture. Oh, I'm sweating. I love it. I love it. Drop it. Lift it. Do it. Go. You got it. Keep going. You can do it. Don't stop. Keep going. I'm gonna switch to arms here and lift. Oh, that actually burns more, but it helps my neck. It's harder. I'm doing it because of the hair on my nails. Ah, we did it! Yay! 20 minutes done high five you did it i need a drink of water you guys did amazing super proud of you good job you did awesome that was tough i feel i sweat on my neck oh it's awesome i love sweating it's also the same thing I like it and hate it at the same time, but I know what it's doing for me. And especially if you're not even, if you're at home and you're feeling a little like lethargic or you're feeling a little, little under the weather, I suggest to do this workout, but do it slower and um, sweat out all those toxins. Try and sweat them all out because I know when I'm not feeling 100%, I will still do a workout. I will go a little slower, but I feel that it helps me get better faster. I sweat the toxins out and I do end up feeling better sooner. So super important for your immune system. Um, hope you guys are staying safe and keeping healthy. I know this is a really hard time right now and um, staying positive is huge for your mental health. Please try to stay positive. Try to think of all the things that you can do, not all the things that you cannot do. Um, think of the fact you could go out and hopefully hike or walk or, or do some things, um, projects in your house, um, spend time together, play games, um, you know, um, have a movie marathon, uh, just try and think of all the things that you can do and you can enjoy doing right now, um, that when everything opens back up, um, you know, it's going to be kind of crazy chaos again and you won't have this downtime, uh, so. I guess let's try to appreciate what we have right now. So um, that's how we can get through these times. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful, powerful day and stay safe and healthy. And I will see you here again for what's day 93 of our 100 day challenge. You just crushed 92. Good job. All right, guys, have a great day. See you later.